Tyler asks here, how far of a talent gap is there between Brown and Booker? That's actually uh, a good question. Brown's a better all-around player. Like, I agree. But from a balance standpoint, Booker's a better scorer. You know, you game on the line, you need somebody to get you a basket. I'm going Booker nine times out of ten. But right. if I'm building a championship level team, I might go Jalen Brown because Jalen Brown can play lockdown defense. Jalen Brown is not just a give me the ball and score. Or like he could play, you know, he could play all over the court. So Booker's the better like superstar, I guess. But mm. Jalen Brown, I think, is more of a well-rounded player. Yeah, I agree. Um, we haven't seen Jalen Brown like be the number one go-to guy of a team for like a whole season or anything. So we don't know what he would be like in a number one situation. Cause obviously he's been the number two guy so far his whole career next to Jason Tatum. Um, but I don't think the talent gap is actually that far. Uh, because like you said, Jalen Brown's the better all around guy. I, I trust his defense way more than Devin Booker. I trust his decision making. I trust his even his playmaking. His athleticism is better than Devin Booker's. Um, but as you said, the all out scorer, easily Devin Booker, especially shooter in general. Um, so that being said, yeah, right now I definitely have Devin Booker as, you know, I would rank him higher. I would have him as the better superstar, star talent. But I don't think the gap is as far as people would make it out to be. 